Let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we might be found worthy to offer the sacrifice of the Mass. And now please pause for a moment and make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins to God and asking for his forgiveness, I ask that you please recite with me the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, 
receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Most. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you gave to your Son Jesus the name which is above every other name. You taught us that there is none other through which we may be saved. May we, in turn, who love and honor his name on earth, so rejoice with him in heaven. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. On this, the solemnity of the holy name of Jesus, we take the first reading from the book of Exodus. But said Moses to God, if I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What do I tell them? God replied to Moses, I am who I am. Then he added, this is what you will tell the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses. This is what you will say to the Israelites. The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my title for all generations. This is the word of the Lord. The gradual. Save us, Lord, our God. Gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in praising you. For you are our Father, were Abraham not to know us, nor Israel to acknowledge us. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer. You are named forever. The second reading for today is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Galatians, brothers and sisters. I mean that as long as the heir is not of age, he is no different from a slave, although he is the owner of everything, but he is under the supervision of guardians and administrators until the date set by his father. In the same way we also, when we were not of age, were enslaved to the elemental powers of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption. As proof that you are children, God sent the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a child, and if a child, then also an heir through God. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My mouth will speak your praises, Lord. All flesh will bless your holy name forever. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory 
Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention. When behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sins, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Nick Benjafa Polonius Christus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend. These words are taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Philippians. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In this new year of 2022, in August, we will celebrate the 94th anniversary of the establishment of Holy Name of Jesus, Polish National Catholic Church. You know, isn't it interesting that when this church was first established, the early organizers had so many different opportunities to name this church. They could have dedicated it to the Holy Mother. They could have given the name of an apostle in the virtuous lives that they lived. But in the end, the church was dedicated as the holy name of Jesus. Today in the Polish National Catholic Church, as well as other Christian denominations, the solemnity of the holy name of Jesus is observed and the significance of his name is reflected in today's readings. If everything goes well 
and I'm not called away, I strive to say daily Mass at 9 o'clock. And we dedicate Saturdays to offer Mass, the Mass proper that we have today, to the holy name of Jesus, with prayers being offered for the congregation and for all their loved ones. Jesus. When we read the gospel, we see the importance of the name Jesus. Jesus would ask, what would you have me do? Jesus, that I may see. Jesus, that I may be cleansed. Jesus, that I may walk. For it was in Jesus that miracles truly took place. And miracles take place even to this day in the holy name of Jesus. Yeshua was his Aramaic name. In Hebrew, the name Jesus is translated to God saves. My brothers and sisters, after many years being in the ministry, I've seen things in the name of Jesus. The praying for the sick, the anointing with holy oil, all these things, as Paul says, whatever you do or whatever you say, do everything in the name of Jesus. The church prescribes that this, the first reading, is taken from the second book of the Old Testament, the book of Exodus. And it is a, a time in which there's a conversation that takes place between Moses and God and God and Moses. Not too many people know is that Moses actually went to meet with God as recorded in Holy Scripture eight times in which he received the revelation in which he is the author of the first five books of the Old Testament. We call him the lawgiver because he gave the law of the Old Covenant, which we also know in Judaism as the Torah. Moses says to God, if I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, they will ask me, what is his name? What do I tell them? And God replied to Moses, I am that I am. Not I was who I am, or I will be as I am, but rather in the present tense, I am who I am. This great statement would be reflected by the Word of God, Jesus. We find that in the Gospel of John, the eight great I Ams. It is not found in any of the other Gospel accounts, only in John. For John concentrated more on not what Jesus did, but what Jesus said. Let us for a moment reflect on these great, deep spiritual statements of Jesus. The first actually establishes Jesus for all time, eternal. Before Abraham was, I am. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the true vine. I am the door of the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. When we look at all these statements, we realize that the entire life of a baptized Christian is dependent upon the I am's of Jesus. From one's baptism until one's death. You know, my brothers and sisters, just as there were those who called out to Jesus while he walked the earth, they cried out, have pity, have mercy, forgive. And it is in the name of Jesus that people call out in times of need. When they have problems in their families, when they are sick and ill, when they're at wit's end and they have no one else to turn to, the name Jesus is paramount. And so my dear brothers and sisters, as we begin a new year, call out to Jesus. In your deepest prayers, when you are alone and the TV is off, and you have that moment of solitude and you want to speak to Jesus call out his name Jesus give me strength Jesus help me with this problem Jesus cure me Jesus be with me our blessed Lord Jesus gives us the assurance that wherever two or three are gathered, I will be with him. He is with us now. He is among us in the fellowship. And just as St. Paul talks about putting on the Lord Jesus Christ, it is the discipleship of each and every single one of us to follow Jesus to learn from his teachings and to be able to share that joy of knowing Jesus in your life with others who are in need. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord. 
be with you. Let us pray. I will praise you with all my heart. Glorify your name forever, Lord my God. my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may your blessing hallow our sacrifice offered in praise of the name of your Son. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father of powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. You who gave your Son the name that is above every he name. So hold that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God that Jesus Christ is his Lord. Now how that Jesus is born among us, may we always trust in the power of his name and praise him forever. Therefore, we he join this day with the voices of the angels and dark angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, 
God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sanana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sanana in the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith that comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In our prayers this day, in the name of Jesus, let us pray for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, for those who will die alone this day without anyone near, let us pray for the, the homeless, the hungry, and the unemployed. For all those who are suffering from the coronavirus. And pray for not only them, but also for their families. Let us pray and give God thanks for doctors and nurses, first responders, and health care workers who strive daily to save others. In our most deepest prayers, let us pray for all abused and neglected children in our world, for all abused and neglected animals, for all victims of violence both here and abroad. Let us pray in the name of Jesus that God would protect all those who serve in our armed forces both here and abroad. And let us pray for one another in the name of Jesus, not only for ourselves, but for all our loved ones. And all here present, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, or who offer up to you, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also. Your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, 
to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice in immaculate hopes. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar, into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive from this altar the most sacred body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all of us in Christ grant, we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done upon earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us 
that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same, Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give unto you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and vow safe to grant it peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching, and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness, may become my safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in all of us, living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We will take the heavenly bread and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. My brothers and sisters, let us now recite the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. 
May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here to receive?
tangible gift become to us in everlasting healing. May your body, O Lord, which I have received, and your blood which I have drunk, cling to my innermost being, and grant that no sin remain in me, in whom these holy sacraments have nourished, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. All the nations you have made shall come to bow before you, Lord, and give honor to your name. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty, eternal God, our Creator and Redeemer, accept this sacrifice of our salvation, which we have offered in honor of the name of your Son, Jesus. Through the Holy Eucharist we have received, pour out your grace upon us, that we may have both peace and comfort in his name, and assurance of life everlasting. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lo, ho, 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 the sacrifice is offered. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which we, the one worthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it through christ our lord amen may the almighty and merciful lord bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel According to St. John, Glory to you, o Lord. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the light, the light for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that to him all might believe, but only to testify to the light for he himself was not the light, the real light which gives light to every man who is coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. And he who did accept him he empowered to become children of God these are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love.
seated for another moment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And in our deepest and most sincere prayers, let us offer a prayer for our departed loved ones. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in the light of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is Savior, friend and son. 